Hi everyone, this is Tom Smith, and I'm a Solutions Consultant at Forder. I recently put together an integration between Forder and Auth0, and I was really happy with the way it turned out, so I wanted to share it with everyone. First, I'm going to describe the solution, and then I'll do a demo to show how it works. If you're not familiar with Forder, the aspect of the Forder service that I'm going to be talking about today is Trusted Identities, which prevents account takeover attempts while also reducing user friction from MFA. If you're not familiar with Auth0, Auth0 is a best-in-class identity provider for consumer-facing applications. So the combination of Auth0's identity services with Forder's friction-reducing ATO prevention makes for an extremely powerful combined solution. Here's an overview of how the solution works. The sample application that we're using here is Metropolis Airways. First, the user visits the Metropolis Airways web application. The application checks to see whether the user has a session. If the user does not have a session, the application redirects the user to Auth0. The Auth0 hosted login page contains the Forder JavaScript snippet, which collects data about the user's context and behavior. In step three, the user submits their username and password along with a Forder token to Auth0. Auth0 checks the username and password, and if everything checks out, then it sends a login success event to the Auth0 action engine. The Auth0 action is JavaScript hosted by Auth0, and it's the key piece of the seamless integration. The action sends the user context directly to Forder, and Forder responds with a recommendation to either allow the login, decline it, or challenge the user for a second factor. It should be noted here that Forder's recommendation is very accurate and greatly reduces the chances of an end user being challenged for MFA. If the user is approved or satisfies the MFA challenge issued by Auth0, then Auth0 issues an authorization code and eventually an ID token to complete the authentication process. Now let's see what this integration looks like in action. Lois Lane has arrived at the Metropolis Airways website to book a flight. She clicks sign in to log into the application and she gets redirected to Auth0. She enters her username and password and on the back end, Auth0 has called Forder to see if this is really Lois. Forder knows that this is really Lois, so it recommends that Auth0 accept this authentication attempt. Auth0 issues an authorization code to the application. This code can be redeemed for an ID token to complete the authentication process. Now let's take a look at how this is set up in Auth0. So here I am in the branding section of my Auth0 tenant. It's going to be my customized login page. Go down to the bottom first and just show where that Forder JavaScript is. Here's the Forder JavaScript snippet right here. And if I go up to the top of the page, I can see where that is invoked. Got an event listener here that is going to generate a Forder token. And the key parameter here is that that Forder token gets assigned to the Auth0 Lock.js uh, internal options. That's what allows that Forda token to ride along on the authentication journey in Auth0. And this is what the Auth0 action looks like. This execute post login right here, this is the event that fires when the user uh, logs in successfully using their username and password. Then this action calls out to Forder uh, the secret can be stored as a secret here on this uh, back end. Forder comes back with a decision that can be either approve, decline, or verification required. If it's verification required, then the Auth0 uh, MFA can be invoked with this line here. And then finally, that action gets put into the middle of the login flow right here. And that's it. 